Hey guys, so Apple has now officially released iOS 18.2. This is a major update for iPhone. And in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys a few things you should do immediately after you update your iPhone to iOS 18.2. Now, obviously Apple has just released this new software update. So you wanna make sure you go into settings head on over into general, head on over into software update and iOS 18.2 should be available for you to download as of today. Now this one brings a ton of new features and enhancements to Apple intelligence. We'll talk about those here in just a few seconds. And of course, there's also brand new features for non Apple intelligent devices, which I'll link my entire coverage for those devices in the description down below if you want to watch that video. But let's go ahead and talk about a few things you should do immediately after you update to iOS 18.2. Okay, so there's two things I always recommend you do right after you update your iPhone to the latest iOS 18 update. And this segment is for my new subscribers because I know all my old subscribers already seen this multiple times, so you can skip through this part. But all my new subscribers, the first two things I always recommend everyone to do is number one, you wanna make sure you head on over into the app store right after you update. And then you wanna tap on your account right here on the top right portion. And then you wanna hold and swipe down to refresh and see if there's any third party app updates available for you. As you can see right there, right after I updated, there's new app updates. Obviously you wanna make sure you update all your applications so that you can avoid any issues or crashing or freezing of apps. There's been issues in the past where where third party applications have caused overheating and freezing. So you wanna make sure that you update your third party applications right after you update your iPhone to the latest iOS 18.2. Now something else I always recommend is that you jump into settings, head on over into general, go into the about section, and some of you may see a pop-up on this section here with a new carrier update. Now, not everyone will see a new carrier update, but if you see a carrier update, you wanna make sure you update your carrier settings to the latest iOS 18.2 for better network compatibility, of course, and performance. Now, if you have an Apple intelligent device, right after you update to iOS 18.2, you may see a notification that looks like this. Obviously, you wanna make sure you launch the playground Ground application. Keep in mind that iOS 18.2 continues to build upon Apple intelligent features. We get chat GPT support and integration with Siri. So you want to make sure you jump into settings, head on over into Apple intelligence, go over into the new chat GPT section, make sure you log in and sign up for ChatGPT, and now you'll be able to use ChatGPT integrated with Siri, which is a welcome addition and makes Siri a lot better. Now, another thing you wanna make sure you do for Apple intelligent devices is tap on that notification that you get right after you update, or go into settings and enter that wait list by opening the playground application. Here is the playground application. This allows you to create custom images on your iPhone and click continue. And right here, you can use a description to create an image on your iPhone. Now, obviously this will also give you the Genmoji, which a lot of users really wanted. So in order to use Genmoji on your iPhone, all you have to do is jump into the actual right here messages application. And once you enable the uh, actual Genmoji and image playground by tapping on the link that you get right after you update, you wanna go into your emoji keyboard and you'll see the Genmoji icon right there on the keyboard for emojis. Tap right there on the emoji and you can go ahead and create any custom emoji using a description. But again, you wanna make sure that you do click on that notification right after you update your iPhone or go into settings and make sure you click on the prompt so that you can get the image playground application on your iPhone and Genmoji. Keep in mind that there will be a wait list so it could take, I don't know, maybe several minutes or perhaps even several hours depending on how many users are updating at the moment. Now, last but not least, there's two additional options I would like for you to look into. Number one is for Apple Music. So when you're playing music on your iPhone, you now have the ability to add the volume scrubber to the controls on the lock screen. The way you do that is by jumping into settings, head on over into accessibilities, scroll down until you find the section audio and visual right there. And then right here where it says always show volume controls, make sure you enable that. And now you'll have the volume scrubber right there on your actual controls for the music on the lock screen. I know many users really wanted that. Apple has just added that to iOS 18.2. Now visual intelligence is officially here with iOS 18.2. You can long press on the camera controls for iPhone 16 and 16 Pro and bring up the new UI. Obviously this allows you to take pictures of something in order to give you a description or identify something, but you can also use it to point your camera at a restaurant or something like that or a location to get you know directions or the phone number. If it's a restaurant, you can get the 
menu and things like that. But if you want to make it better, you want to jump into settings here. You want to go into the privacy and security section on your iPhone right here. There it is. And then you want to go into location services and then go into the visual intelligence options right here. And then make sure that you select while using the application. This will allow you to point at the visual intelligence new feature by long pressing on the camera controls to a store or something like that. And you'll be able to get things like menus, phone numbers, directions, and more. So there you guys have it. Just a quick update on iOS 18.2. It is officially out and these are a few things you should do immediately after you update thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoy the software and i'll see you guys on the next one peace